Well, Luke, as far as the playoff chase is concerned, does that send out a huge message? I think so, yeah. I think um, we've nestled now into fifth. Um, we put the league to bed for a week, um, which is nice because we got up to Gateshead now and the focus is to progress into the FA Trophy. Um, we've been on a hard run in terms of Sutton away, Leighton Orient away and Dagenham away. That's three tough tests. We've come out with five points. I think that shows what we've got in that dressing room. Um, I believe that... I, I know I trust every single one of them and I've got a belief in them that they can kick on and I think today's shown that. With this being a sort of game in hand in sense, it must have been in the back of the players' minds for a little while they would have to play this rearranged fixture, but to come and wear win it, is, is that pretty big? Oh, it's massive. You, you look at their record, they've gone and done Hartlepool, a league team last year, 4-2 on Saturday. So I've got to give them the respect. They played a good tempo the first half hour, 40 minutes, and I had to change the shape and nullify their threats because I felt that they were getting down the sides of our three centre-halves and they were getting joy, especially down the left-hand side. But I changed the shape and I felt we, we married up to that. I felt our 1v1 battles, we were better. And we went in, obviously, at 1-0. It allowed me to regroup, allowed me to get the boys together. But, yeah, I felt we'd come out second half and we could have been three or four to the good prior to them having a reaction. Having Dag Dagenham started very fast, but that early goal, it settled it down a little bit, didn't it? Yeah, it was it against the run of play, possibly. But, no disrespect, I went to Leighton Orient on Saturday. We've absolutely peppered them for 45 minutes and we didn't score. So... I think we need a little bit of luck. I think we got that tonight in the first half especially. But I felt second half, I felt Bruno Andrade was causing Sam Ling absolute problems for large periods of the second half. I felt that Angelo Balanta was picking up great ball. I thought the debut of Joe Quigley was positive. He gives us an out ball, he's a presence and he puts a shift in. It was a tense ending with five added minutes and a late goal, but we managed to get through it, didn't we? No, I said to the boys afterwards, they got to manage the game better than what they did because you give a team an out with five minutes to play of, of um, extra time or injury time, um, any ricochet, any corner, any set piece, a weldy, a knockdown, whatever it is, it gives them an out. And I think it would have been unjust if they had drawn a game today. A brace for Bruno Andrade? Yeah, no, I thought that was Bruno's best game in large periods. I felt that whatever it was, he, he was excited tonight and he had a bit between his teeth because I felt that from the off he was, he was bright. I think, I think the presence of Joe Quigley helps. I think that... He's a more of a vocal striker, so it takes a lot of the ownership off Bruno to allow him to go and free himself up, which I think he did in spells today. And I felt that, for me, he was he was frightening second half. Do you think he looked better on the left than he did up front today? No, I think Bruno can play either position, left, right or through the middle. I think when he's on blob like he was this evening, I think he causes many teams problems. Angelo Balanta as well, is, is he getting back to his best? I think so. We've had a hard t uh, last few weeks, uh, Craig, I think. I had to bring Bruno off because he was tired, his legs had gone because of the performance on Saturday and the Christmas period. Andrew Blant, I wanted to bring him off but he's massive on set plays against. Um, I had the luxury of bringing on Sean Jeffers today, Woody in at left back. So we're starting to get a, a squad together now that it changes. When I put bodies on, it's not like I'm weakening the side. So that's a positive. There's still got to be more... Um, bodies in the building and that's something I've been discussing with myself and the chairman we need to get a few across the line but I think tonight it shows and it proves that if we believe which I know I do as a club if we all come together especially as that group in that dressing room we can uh, we'll have a right fight towards the end of the season You're not resting your laurels on fifth place then? Oh it's not that it's, um, it's very much you can't go to Sutton you can't go to Leighton Orient you can't go to Maxfield you can't go to Dagenham can't go to Tranmere. They're all big teams, massive teams. We're unbeaten against them. So, for me, that group's that group's got a bit about them, um, and we've got to add to that. And it's only going to bolster and enhance what we've got in that dressing room. I'm not looking to ship anyone out as of yet, but I need bodies in the building. And I think that we go Gateshead on um, on Saturday to progress into the trophy. So we're going to go on two fronts. So for me, you're going to need a lot of bodies and people that are going to give as many minutes as they possibly can over the next few weeks.